story 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 come that's what you're supposed to say i'm not hearing you guys i'm not hearing you guys hey friends welcome to my channel How are you doing? How has your week been? What have you been up to? How are you trying to make sure that you achieve the goals you had set out for yourself? If you don't know, we are actually less than two months to December. And December is Shere time. So how are you making sure that by December you've achieved your goal? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. Um, We'll probably do like a stock tech um, in December and see what we did, how far we've come and all that stuff. But in the meantime, let's try. Let's try our best and work towards um, what we had planned to work towards. Yes, we got a deal. Yes. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Lisa. I do a lot of content around different things that revolve around my life basically my life abroad um, a few story times here and there and this is one of those days where I am telling you yet another story because eh, the level of engagement you guys give me on my stories blows my mind away blows me away every single time so anyway Let's get started with this very interesting story. And to be honest, I do not even know where it will take us. I literally just know what this story is about. But I don't know where it's gonna take us. So we'll just go with the flow, right? Right. Okay, so the year is 20 something. I was in my early 20s. And before I even start, let me just say, giving your lover or your whoever money is on is not always a good idea if you're not in a partnership if you're not in a committed um kind of thing relationship why are you giving your partner why are you giving them money why why anyway let's go on let's go on with the story so there is 20 something i was in my early 20s um i was working two jobs at the time um, one was online and then one was physical so actually when I started the physical job is when I met this guy and yeah we just kind of like hit it off so what happened was like and I feel like this happens a lot in call centers because I was working in a call center and Everyone used to be like, hey, have you seen that guy? He's tall, he's dark, he's handsome, he has muscles because he had muscles. And they were not like those big muscles because those guys, to be honest, do not attract me. But he had like, like he looked like someone who was working out. At the time, I wasn't working out. Um, and he was tall and dark and everyone, I think very many ladies were like uh, this is the guy for us this is the guy for us um at that time i was going through like one of those you remember that on off boyfriend i told you guys about so i was we were off during that time um and so yeah so as far as i was concerned me i was i was single i'm single i'm single <laughs> So anyway, so um, I think we were like the same cohort that got into the same cohort that kind of like trained together and then um, got accepted together to like work in the at the call center. So we work, we get to know each other, um, everything is going well. We love each other's company. We never really like hung out of work. Um, it was just within the work environment but like we our friendship was kind of like growing so yeah so we keep talking we keep um texting even after work and um, and all that stuff when when he sees me at work like it's a hi hi like a really hi, hi. 
like it was just it was it was it it was good it felt fun and it was it was really nice to be honest um so yeah so we go on and then he started like obviously as we get to know each other he gets to know that i'm working two jobs i'm earning a good amount of money in my early 20s it was good money um and yeah so we we just keep talking um and then he tells me oh i'd love to on during one of the occasions i think weeks later um he tells me um he'd love to like get a wardrobe upgrade um even as he like now fully gets into this um, role this call center role and I was like oh that's nice and he was like no but I don't have money so me I was like ah see I can loan you some money and then you'll give me back how much do you need and then he tells me he needed I think like 10 G's or something I can't quite remember the figures um, and I'm like cool cool I'll send you the cash which I sent so I send him the cash he goes he buys clothes and Eh, he looks nice. He looked nice. He looked nice. I'm not gonna lie. He looked nice. Um, so yeah. So we keep uh working, waiting for like our salary, um, and yeah, we keep chatting. And then a week before we got our salary, the guy decides he doesn't like the job. He quits. So me, I'm like, okay, that's fine. You'll be paid for the one month. But then at the back of my mind, I'm like, why would you do such a thing? Because he didn't have anywhere he was going. He just quit his job. Um. So yeah, so at the back of my mind, I was like, why? And then I didn't give it much thought because I was like, anyway, it's not my life. Um. This guy for me was like a rebound. It just felt nice. It just felt fun. Um, hanging out with him just felt good. So I was just like, ah. It's okay. Um, and then I remembered, ah, he hasn't paid me. He hasn't paid me. Um, but anyway, I didn't like question or anything of that sort. Then I remember we had like a wedding that I was like, oh, you could actually come to the wedding. I wanted him to come as my plus one. I think a week or so later. This thing, let me tell you, was so short lived. I think it was like two months in total. <laughs> So I remember I was like, oh, I'd love you to come for this wedding and be my plus one. You could meet my friends and um, all that stuff. And we agree that he's coming. And then the day before or the day of, he tells me or he traveled to Sijui where to see his sister. And he can't come, obviously, because he just traveled. And I'm like why didn't you tell me all this why why are you telling me this now like hadn't you thought of this earlier like why is it just coming up now like i had so many questions i remember i was even mad because now i'd told my friends like i was bringing a plus one um and then he bailed on me and i was just like i was just like i was just like sometimes even better than person you know than the one you don't know so I was just like, if I had invited the, 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 the boyfriend or the partner I had who was off now, like on off, the one we had on off relationship, he'd probably have shown up. But now I invited this one who, anyway, so yeah, so after that, I think I just felt like a shift, um, like a complete shift, like not even wanting him as a rebound, not even wanting him as a friend and in as much as I, in my head I had already known like he was a rebound I I just knew like I didn't want to get hurt or my feelings um involved or get too deep into it so before I got too deep I was just like I'm gonna run I'm gonna run you know that she's a runner she's a yeah that's me that's me so I was just like nope this ain't for us this ain't for us so i just remember cutting ties like not wanting to like meet up not wanting to talk not wanting to you know the way you talk when you're in a relationship not wanting to do that even though he still had my money so i remember once he left um obviously there was no way i was going to see him and 
I decided to text him and ask him, yo, um, I need my money back. The guy, the guy had the audacity to tell me he has no job and has no way of finding the money. And that, my friends, is how I blocked him. I deleted his number. And years later, I have not talked to him. He WhatsApped me, I think, last year or this year. I can't quite remember. You know the way someone WhatsApps you and then you can see, like, the profile name is, say, Lisa. So that's how I knew it was him. And it was just like, hey, Lisa. And I did not respond. So maybe he wanted to say, hey, me to say, hey, and then he sends me the money. I don't know. But I was just like, you know what? Uh-uh. Uh, I'm still petty. I'm still petty. Like I know I'm grown. It's been years and I should be I should want my money and just be in good terms but <laughs> I'm still petty. And that my friends is a lesson for you on rebounds and giving money to people. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little story time I had. Um <laughs> And as usual, I will see you in my next one. If you haven't subscribed, this is your sign to do just that. Bye.